Hi everyone, Chris Martinson here of Peak Prosperity and it is February 25th, 2017. Hey, uh, I've been on the road again. I was just presenting at another wealth conference. Uh, it's put on by the Opal Wealth Conference Series and this was for a bunch of pension managers. Now, this is a great place for me to bring my message to because my message is really a very long term message. So if we want to understand where we're going with energy over the next 10, 20, 30 years and how that relates to the economy and economic growth, who better than a bunch of pension managers whose fiduciary responsibility it is to think responsibility it is to think forward 30, 40, 50, maybe 70, maybe in theory infinite numbers of years. So awesome crowd. It was a great crowd. I had a wonderful time. I met a lot of wonderful people. The message resonated with some. And of course, uh, for others, they did this. They just sort of looked at my message and couldn't quite compute it. And so whether I'm talking to NASA or, or, or people who are trustees on a small pension out of a fireman's association somewhere in Florida or wherever these people happen to be from, some of them can compute, some of them can't compute this. And guess what? It's not about the information. It's about our ability to process the information, which is an emotional process. That's what we've learned is that, look, we can present all the data we want in the world, but if people can't emotionally manage the data, then they're not gonna hear it. So this is really my and Adam's big push this year is trying, not trying, working with how we're gonna bring our message more elegantly, more accurately, more impactfully to more people. So this is part of our rationale for thinking about how we're gonna work with Glenn Beck's organization. We've already seen the level of quality they're capable of producing in terms of video. It's fantastic. This is my dedication. You've heard it here. I'm busy turning um, this downstairs area of my office into a video studio. And I'm gonna be producing much more video. And I want your feedback. Let me know what you think works for you, of course. That's where we start, but also what you would like to see in these video updates. If you could say, hey, Chris, if you could give me something 60 seconds or less that was on, I don't know, student debt or the Social Security Trust Fund or uh, energy economics that I could show to relatives, friends, colleagues of mine, that would be great. Uh, so any feedback you've got, just let us know. Uh, bring those comments to the website. I, if this you're watching this at YouTube, the comment areas at YouTube are on varying degrees of quality. I don't spend a lot of time there. So come to the website, peakprosperity.com, if you want to uh, leave those ideas. Or at Twitter, uh, that's at Chris Martinson. Uh, and I, get, I read all my Twitter feeds uh, pretty regularly as well. So with that, my articles this past week were around bubbles. We're in the midst of the most extraordinary bubbles anybody has ever seen. Uh, this is the mother of all bubbles. In fact, when these bubbles pop, it is going to be one of the most financially and economically destructive events in world history. And so how you prepare for that is really important. What we've got going on is uh, we've got our usual Roe seminar coming up this year, April 6th to 9th in Roe, Massachusetts. You can register for that at Roe Center. Dot org. That's, uh, uh, um, yeah, I mean, tell you what, come to the website, check it out. Uh, we've got a link to it there as well. I can't remember if it's rowconferencecenter.org or Row Center. One of those two will work. If you want to go straight to the Row site or you come to our site, link through and uh, you can follow it there. So, uh, and sign up. Listen, what do we do at these seminars? We talk about, the, in particular, the emotional challenges of this material, not to wallow around in the emotions, but to get you to the point where you can make crisp decisions so you can begin living a life that's in alignment with what's actually happening in the world, and most importantly, that life that will be uh, fulfilling to you and nourishing and meaningful. So we're all about leading from the heart. We're all about walking the talk. We're all about helping you have the context you need so you can take the actions that are gonna help you have a better life today and be more resilient for things that might happen tomorrow. Because let's be clear, when this bubble bursts or these sets of bubbles, financial bubbles, when they burst, it's going to be one of the most destructive events in all of human financial history. And I don't know if it's gonna let go tonight or in 10 years from now, but it doesn't matter. The data is pretty clear. There always, 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 always has to be a match, a balancing act or a matching process between how many claims you're making 
on how much real wealth actually exists in the world. The claims, stocks, bonds, derivatives, money, money printing. But this is the real wealth. These are the claims. This is the real wealth. The real wealth are the things, the goods, the services we produce from the world. This is what the economy really is. This stuff, just markers for it. Real wealth is not growing all that fast. We're measuring that in economic output growing very slowly. And uh, that's even with those statistics kind of pretty fraudulently inflated. Another story for another day. And then these are the claims, the Federal Reserve, the ECB, the European Central Bank, the Bank of England, Bank of Japan, China's bank all have it wrong. They think that all they need to do is inflate these and magically you get this exactly backwards. This gives value to that. This does not create value out of thin air over here. But this is the thing we're trying. Why? Because we're humans and we love free lunches and we're trying to get another free lunch. But there ain't no such thing as a free lunch. So uh, that's this weekly update. We'll see you next time. Remember uh, the Row conference if you want to be more prepared and understand and most importantly, meet other like-minded people. Please come to Row. That's this April, 6th to 9th. Love to see you there. Signing off till next week. This is Chris Martinson. See you next time.